Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again today and I hope you've all had a very Merry Christmas. I thought I would do a video today just to show you what I've got for Christmas because I was very, very spoiled this year and I've got lots and lots of goodies that I can't wait to show you. So I'm going to delve straight into it. So the first thing I got for Christmas this year was the Harry Potter books again. Now I have had these beforehand uh, years and years ago when I was very young. Um, I had all the sort of the original books if you will. Um, but over the years they've gotten a little bit battered and a bit worn. And my seven year old has gotten into to reading the Harry Potter books as well. And you can imagine she's destroyed them even more so. So I spotted these um, in Asda other supermarkets are available um, and I said to my husband that I would really love to have the set of Harry Potter books all over again just so I can keep them for myself my little girl's not going to get her hands on them and I'm hopefully going to be able to treat them a little bit nicer and keep them as, as pristine as possible because they are so beautiful so I've got the first one obviously which is the Philosopher's Stone and you can see the artwork on these books are just so cute I just love the artwork on these obviously you've got Harry here Ron Hermione and Hagrid and you've got Hogwarts in the background and obviously then you've got the Chamber of Secrets with the Basilisk and you've got Harry with the Sword of Gryffindor there and obviously you've got the Forks of Phoenix in the middle. And then we've got the Prisoner of Azkaban which is actually my favourite book of the entire Harry Potter series, The Prisoner of Azkaban is definitely, definitely my favourite book. And obviously you've got the Stag Patronus there with Harry casting the uh, the Patronus spell there and I absolutely love these books. They just I'm just so excited to read them again. And then obviously you've got the Goblet of Fire with the Hungarian Horntail Dragon there and Harry going after the Golden Egg down here. And then you've got the Order of the Phoenix with Thestrals there. Harry's riding the Thestral and you've got Hogwarts in the background again there. And as like I said, these the artwork on these books are just so stunning and I just, I'm, a part of me doesn't want to read them because I just think that, because they're paperback as well, the moment I open it up, they obviously the spines are going to go a little bit and they're going to get a bit crinkled and I don't want to touch them, I just want them to be pristine forever because they're so pretty. And then you've got the Half-Blood Prince and the Deathly Hallows. A little Voldemort there, all creepy. So yeah, I was really, really thrilled to get these books again. Like I said, I have read them all, I've read them all a couple of times, but they have been destroyed over the years. So I'm just so excited now that I've got the full set all over again in really, really cute artwork and I just can't wait to read them all again. Um, so the next thing I got for uh, Christmas this year was actually from my mum and this was actually a little bit of a surprise to me because my mother doesn't normally get my Harry Potter obsession. She thinks I'm a little bit too old, not too old, and uh, she thinks I'm a bit geeky for it but hey ho, I love Harry Potter and I'm not afraid to admit it. But yeah, she got me this t-shirt which I was really, really chuffed with because obviously it's Ravenclaw and I am a Ravenclaw and I absolutely love this t-shirt. I think it's beautiful. You've got the, like, the diadems down there at the bottom, Ravenclaw, and you've got like the symbol in the middle. And it almost has like a Christmassy kind of like edge in to it, which I think is really, really cute. But I think it's not too Christmassy that you can wear it just on a normal day, but it almost has that Christmassy edge. So yeah, we are a big fan of the t-shirt, Mother. Thank you very much. A, another thing I got for Christmas this year was the Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald book. Now, I will be the first to admit it, I am more a Harry Potter fan than a Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them fan. I have now seen the films and I did really, really enjoy them, um, but I haven't read the books. So I've got this one now and I'm definitely going to read it. I'm going to give it a go. I, like I said, I really, really enjoyed the films, so I am going to read the books but I haven't actually read any of the, the Fantastic Beast books to date, but I will, I promise. So I'm really excited to read that. Uh, what else did we get? Ooh, right. So I'm not necessarily a hat person, but I do, every now and again, do mind a cap. So I got this this year from my mother again, bless her. So I've got myself a Ravenclaw hat with a little symbol in the middle, and it says Ravenclaw on there as well. So yeah, again, I was really quite surprised with that. My mother doesn't normally condone my geekness shall we say but hey ho again we love it it's a mind <clears throat> okay another one I got this year actually I got two caps apparently I'm into caps now so yeah I got another cap this year this is from the husband what do you think <laughs> it's got the Ravenclaw symbol right here at the front and yeah this was actually a big surprise because like I said I'm not normally a hat wearing kind of person I don't mind them but I just don't normally wear them on a day-to-day -day basis so to get caps is just be like okay but because they have Ravenclaw on them, I am very chuffed and I will very much enjoy wearing them. So yeah, I can't wait to get those on. Uh, what else did we get? Ooh, oh, we've got the obligatory chocolate, which you can see already half eaten. 
<laughs> Couldn't wait to eat that. So yeah, we got lots of chocolate this year as well. What else did we get? Ooh, we got the Alice in Wonderland DVDs. Obviously, both films are in the uh, in this box. So yeah, we got the uh, Alice in Wonderland and Alice Through the Looking Glass films. I really do enjoy these films and I haven't had them on DVD. So this was a very nice present to have from my husband to actually have them on DVD. Because no one ever has DVDs anymore. Everyone just downloads stuff and it's naughty. Um, what else do we get? Ooh, we also got a Ravenclaw candle. Very, very nice. I don't know if I'm going to burn it though because I think it's just more of a showpiece shall we say just to go nicely on my mantelpiece it's a candle does it actually smell of anything oh it does say scented actually i haven't opened it yet so we will have a little see what it smells like if i can actually get into it these things always look really finicky to open aha i have it thank you let's open it up smells of anything specifically but it does smell very floral so it's quite nice to be honest so yeah that's the candle and it's stuck to the base a minute so I'll take it off the base later on but yeah that's quite cute and I like the glass and I think once you've used the candle you could probably reuse the glass for something else as well so that's really cute I like that and obviously then it's got the little the lid to go on top of it as well cute okay what was next oh husband bought me some scrunchies Ravenclaw again, so you got one there with like the actual Ravenclaw um, colours and are there actually Raven? Oh no, they've got like just little, oh no, there are birds on here. Yes, you do have ravens on here, I believe. So yep, yeah, and then we've got a blue one and a black one. Always handy to have scrunchies, we do like a scrunchie. Going back to the 90s. Uh, ooh, another DVD I got this year as well was The Greatest Showman. I love this film, it's brilliant. I recommend anyone who hasn't seen this, go and see this, it will change your life. I love this film so much. It's like the proper feel good film that you whack on and you just end up singing your head off to your television and living in your own little dream world and afterwards you just want to go off and do trapeze and ride elephants and whatnot. Brilliant film. Uh, what else did we get? Ooh. We got, <clears throat> excuse me, we got a nighty. And it's Thumper. We love Thumper. I'm a very big Disney fan as well as Harry Potter. I'm very, very big on Disney. So it says, did someone say tea? And then it's got Thumper on him. He's very cute. And it's actually a really, really soft nighty. It's really snuggly. So yeah, we're very happy with the, with the nighty. And what else did we get? Ooh, I absolutely love these. And I haven't actually used any of these yet, but I have seen them numerous times in shops. And I've always thought, oh, I'll grab some. But then I never have actually done... It's the Disney princess and the villain ones, the face masks you can get. So I've got the Ariel one, got the Belle one, I've got the Ursula one, and I've got the Maleficent one. So yeah, but apparently when you open them up, they've actually got the, the face mask itself is actually painted to look, or drawn, however, uh, to look like the character. So they could be pretty cool. I could probably freak somebody out wearing one of these. I hope it makes me look like Belle because she's beautiful. I would love to look like Belle. I love her. <laughs> so yeah, we got some face masks. And then we got these bath fizzes. And of course you got Sleeping Beauty, AKA Aurora, Belle and Ariel. And I'm not actually, oh yeah, it is. She just, you take them out like the individual packaging and you bung them in your bath and it's like a little bath bomb. I can't wait to use those. Again, I don't know if they're scented or anything. We don't normally, doesn't say on here if they're scented or not or if they just foam up nice in your bath and have like a little bubble bath but again we love bath salts and we love bath things okay oh this is something I actually already had um but the husband didn't realize I already had it it's a key ring it's obviously the Ravenclaw crest key ring and it's it looks like it would be really chunky. It's actually not that bad because it's not very heavy. It's quite light and um, it's quite thin as well. So it's not like a really chunky one. Um, and it does fit nicely on your keys and it doesn't become too bulky on your keys. Um, but mine actually broke the other day. My little boy had hold of it and he decided that it was something fun to play with. And he ended up actually breaking it. It come off the um, 
the ring itself and I couldn't find the little thing that connects it. So I've literally just got this part of it now, just on my mantelpiece. So now I've got the key ring part of it back so I can actually put it back on my keys. So that's always a bonus. Um, ooh, a friend of mine actually sent me some Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans. And you know what, generally, I know like people say all the time that these have like the, the horrible flavors in them, but I generally didn't think they actually would have them, but no, they do. They have the normal things like banana, blueberry, um, cinnamon, cherry, candy floss, all like the nice normal ones. And then they've got soap flavored, rotten egg, uh, was the other ones, uh, dirt, bogey, uh, black pepper, I suppose depending on any taste buds that could go either way. Earthworm, earwax, grass. Uh, yes. Oh, and the vomit one. That's disgusting. So a part of me thinks to myself, will I eat these or will I just keep them on my shelf in the packaging because I'm too much of a sap to actually try them. I don't know if I'm going to try them, to be honest. I probably will, actually. Knowing me. Um, another thing I had from the husband was this enamel pin of Hermione. She is one of my favourite characters. I absolutely love Hermione. I just love her sass and her um, her bravery and the fact that she's such a strong female character. I love a strong female character. So I absolutely love Hermione. So yeah, I've got a little Hermione pin. I love that. I don't know where to put them though. I'm not like, a big pin wearer normally. Um, but I've got a few pins now of Harry Potter. I've got like the head boy, and, uh, not head boy, I'm the head girl. Head girl and prefect badges. I've got um, I've got like a sorting hat badge that says Ravenclaw underneath it. Um, so I've got a few different like badges now that I would like to wear, but I just never know what to put them on. Um, oh, another thing I had this year was actually from um, my husband's best friend. I was popped it down here, is this mug. Isn't it pretty? I love this mug. It's such a big, nice, chunky mug. And it says on the back, make your own magic. And it actually came with some socks in it as well. Which have got sparkle like a princess on the socks. And they're like um, like slipper socks. They're really soft and cushy. So yeah, they came in like a little gift. I mean, it's been a couple of days now since Christmas. So I've taken it out of its display box and I've actually used this already for like hot chocolates and stuff. So, um, but it was in like a lovely little box and it was all sort of gift wrapped with the socks all nicely in them. And uh, yeah, so that's absolutely gorgeous. I do love a mug. And yeah, I think that's everything I had for Christmas this year. Yeah, that's everything. Oh, apart from the t-shirt that I'm wearing. How silly of me. I also, oh, as much as I love Harry Potter and I love Disney, I love everything. Um, I'm also a massive Zelda fan, Legends of Zelda. So my mum, I'm just going to move this back slightly a second. My mum decided to buy me another t-shirt, which is the Zelda t-shirt. So you can see, it's got the sword and the big Z going through it. So yeah, I was very happy with the t-shirts from the mother this year. Very, very happy. So yeah, that's what I had for Christmas. I was so, so thrilled this year. Like I said, I was absolutely spoiled rotten. And I got some really lovely things that I didn't expect to get. Um, and it's just been a lovely Christmas all around. So I hope you guys have had a wonderful Christmas too. Tell me what you had for your Christmas days on your, in the comments below. Pop them down. And uh, yeah, thank you so much again for watching. If you would like to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell as well so you get the notifications of when I'm posting next. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.